Today we have something a little bit different for you guys, but it's going to run for the whole of the Premier League season. This is FPL, the Fantasy Premier League, for the Premier League season 2024-25. I've created the league for my Twitch community. You guys watching this video, you are part of the community. Thank you so much for watching my content. So, if you do the FPL, you've got a team set up already, please use this code DBE65P. Come and join our league. It's a head-to-head -head league, so it's a little bit different. So, you know, there may not be a runaway leader, you know, towards the end of the season. We're going to have uh, players fighting against each other each game week. So the winner will pick up the most points and we'll get the three points for that. So here we go. Let's jump into Fantasy Premier League 24-25 squad builder. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Right, so we have... A fresh start here. So what, what I did earlier was basically I picked an auto team. Um, what I want to do, guys, I want to put in the core players that I definitely know. We're going to play every week um, and are most likely going to be busy and also get in clean sheets. We all know the rules here, guys. I'm an Aston Villa fan. We've got Eng uh, we've got the the world's number one. So we're gonna we're gonna put him in there. Okay, um, we're gonna keep this second goalie free for a minute because we don't want to use up uh, as much money there as, um, to start with okay now the forward position I want to put Solanke in there now he's moved over to Tottenham he's 7.5 he got 175 points last season he's definitely going to get more this season he had an absolute storm of uh, Bournemouth so I think he if he plays every game He's definitely going to take, get loads and loads of chances there. Uh, Haaland is now the highest rated, uh, well, the highest valued player in FPL history at 15 million. I don't think there ever was a, I think 14 millions have been, there have been those in the past. Do we, do we put Haaland in? I'll tell you what, we'll put him in for now. And this is our front line here. I do want to put Ollie Watkins in. It looks like he's the highest uh, uh, rated uh, points tally for a striker. He's nine million. Nine million is an absolute bargain for someone like Ollie Watkins. Stays fit, plays every single game. We're going to create chances for him as a Villa fan. Um, uh, okay, so we'll leave. We'll, we'll have them two there. We'll leave them. In. So now we're going to go over to the defenders. Let's have a look at defenders. Uh, I still think Arsenal are going to be strong. Look at that. Look, look we've got three Arsenal defenders. Are the uh, the, the top. The top right here. We've got Ben White, who is uh, he's playing as right back. So he's going to get forward a little a little bit. But is he going to get more forward than, say, let's say, a Pedro Porro? Uh, a, a Guardio? I think Guardio is definitely going to get forward a lot. Um, and we've got Alexander Arnold as well. But we have got out of slot as the manager now. So will they play the same way? He will still play Alexander Arnold. But will they... Play him in midfield like they have been in the Euros. Okay, so this is a tough one because I like my defenders to be defenders, but I also like them to be up the other end of the pitch. So I think Saliba is a good one. They gave us Saliba to start with, so we're going to have Saliba in there. Gradiol kind of plays every game. So do we stick him in? I guess we stick him in. Okay, so rather than going on points, let's have a look at the teams. Um, on the Villa point of view, we've got... Well, I mean, Nathan Ake played a lot of games, but he only got 99 points, which is a bit of a... Uh, that's a bit of a surprise, that is. Um, okay, Kilman has gone over to West Ham. They might be a good, solid team now, to be fair. Van der Ven. I know he got injured, but he got 81 points. He was... An absolute brick wall for Tottenham. Apart from that uh, Newcastle game. Your uh, doggy, he was very, very attacking. Okay. But I think he may have got injured as well. He was very, very attacking. This is what we're going to think about these kind of players here. Um, maybe if we could sort by teams. Okay. So who's going to be who's going to be uh, who's going to be up there this season? So this is our. Arsenal lineup here. I don't know much about this player. K. 
Charlie Fuori. Is he a left back? I don't really know much about him. Um, I know Chelsea have bought a load of players. Um, let's see if there's anyone that we know that's going to guarantee to play. They got way too many defenders there. Reese James is always injured. Okay. Uh, Palace are a good team. Right, let's jump into Man City again. We might just have some Man City defenders, to be fair. Be rude not to. Akanji. Trying to think of some players who are going to play every game. Let's put Akanji in. They'd go up for corners, wouldn't they? Um, right, okay. And then... Who else is a good, solid team? I guess it's Spurs again, isn't it? Spurs can have their off days, though. Let's put Van de Ven in. i tell you what, I don't know if I'm going to put many Arsenal players in, so we might as well put Gabriel in. Okay, so... I think that'll be... That's a, that's a good lot. Are we happy with that? I don't feel like I'm happy with that. Let's jump into Liverpool. Let's have a look. We've got Van der Ven, that's 4.5. We've got Trent Alexander-Arnold, that's 7 million. Robertson, he's going to have a better season than last season. I'm sure he is. Um, he did get injured. Yeah. Simicast played a lot of games. Didn't get many points. I think we'll keep it. Well, I think we'll keep it like that. So that leaves a budget of oh, forty-four point five million. Okay, so we might have to do some uh, messing around there. Okay, so select replacement with midfielder. I really want Cole Palmer. He played for a struggling Chelsea team, and he's ten million. We've got two Man City players, three Man City players. So we can't have Foden. That's the rules. Too many players from Man City. So we can't have Foden. Uh, Son, I think, is going to be assisting Solanke. 100%. Or Solanke is going to be so involved that people are going to be marking him. Leaving room for Son. Um, Salah. Salah will always score your goals. Um, whether this Liverpool team will let goals in, uh, Salah will still score your goals. But can we get this cheaper elsewhere with the points? Okay, we have room for Liverpool players. Leon Bailey will get you points at 146 points for 6.5. Luis Diaz, I think that's a good one, that is. 147, uh, 42 points. We're going to look at the teams. And we are... Saka and Martinelli will be... He almost doubled his points. Look at that. You kind of want Saka in there. But we don't have enough. <laughs> we don't have enough. This is why you can't always have the most expensive players in your teams. Uh, that's a massive. That's a massive difference between first and second. That is. Um, but we've got to find them points elsewhere. That's what we've got to be. Uh, that's what we've got to be uh, careful about. So Villa. Okay. So. We're going to do a lot of rotating. We're going to do a lot of rotating. So I don't feel comfortable putting just one player in. I know McGinn's our captain. It's 119 points he got there. Uh, he did. Uh, he was out for a while as well. So that's quite. That's quite good. That's a quite a good return. At 5.5 million. Right. Let's look at Chelsea's midfield. Conor Gallagher. He's now. He's back again. He's back. Uh, Neto. That's an absolute bargain. That is. That's the only. He didn't play every game, but that is uh, that is pretty decent. If you look at his uh, things here, he's going to be so important for Chelsea. But are they going to be moving around? Are they going to be swapping everyone around? I don't know what they're going to do up front either. I'm not sure what they're going to do up front, so we will leave them alone. Right, we're going to Man United's midfield. Let's see what Man United are going to do this season. See, Rashford is down at 7 million. 
I think he's going to have a much better season than last time. Garnacho is only 0.5 less. He should be playing a lot more this season. Um, we've also got Xerxes here. So, more than likely, Rashford is classed as a midfielder, but he's going to be playing up front as well. So, we're going to put Rashford in. Okay, we'll put Rashford in there. Uh, let's look at Liverpool's midfield. This is what we looked at earlier. I love Jogo Jossa. I think he's awesome, but he doesn't start or play every minute, which I think he should. There's Mo Salah again. Luis Diaz is another. That's that. I think, I think we're gonna have to gamble with Luis Diaz. You know, well, we've got nine point five left. Then we're gonna see what we have left. Uh, Spurs attacking Lee. So we've got we've got three Spurs players. Um, you know what? I saw something earlier, and I thought that's what I'm gonna have. Um, I'm gonna put this guy in. Whether he rotates on the bench or not. Najelikovic, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's going to be a right back for Villa. So we've got him and Cash as right back. Um, he's definitely got something about him. Saw it in pre-season. Four million, that saves us uh, a 0.5 right there. I think we can get rid of, I think we're going to get rid of Haaland, you know. We can get rid of Haaland. Let's look at the forwards. Mateta, absolutely on fire, but he was in with the trio with Eze and Elise. So, what are we doing there? Hey? What are we doing there? I'm thinking, who was it? Brentford. That was. Uh, and Bueno. 7 million, 126. Well, Bowen's going to be the main man for West Ham, aren't they? Uh, are Newcastle going to have a good season? I think West Ham might, but I don't really know about the manager. I don't know how they're going to be doing there. But Bowen is going to play every game. Might be worth looking at a core group and just using players for the bench, if I'm honest with you. Gunas is a uh, tricky customer. And Bueno would be good, but he is 7 million. Sterling is 7 million. I don't think Sterling's even um, 30 yet, is he? He's still young. Doku, really like Doku, but he doesn't play enough minutes. Can we have Martinelli? He's classed as a midfielder. Okay, that's a cheaper option to Saka. Saka was 10 million, wasn't he? Okay, we've got 18 million left. Okay. Let's see what we're doing here. So Gakpo and Darwin. Will this is gonna be his make or break season? Will Darwin have a good season? Will his shots actually go on target? This is gonna to be tough. That's gonna to be tough. I think if Isaac is on fire. Newcastle, do they have? I don't know if they have um, Europe. I'm going to put Haaland in there. Let's see how that looks. 0.5. We almost did it. We got 5.5 there and we needed a keeper. Right, select replacement. Let's have a keeper. Good keeper to have. I guess. Newcastle have got too many keepers that I don't know who would play. Sanchez, Petrovic, who plays there? You could put 
the Vicario in. Let's put him in. Okay. Right. 10.5. So we can get rid of Haaland. Can you fit Haaland in? Can you fit Isaac in? Can you fit Solanke in? Um, we've got goals here. We've got goals here. We've got goals here. Goals here and goals here. That should counter Haaland. But if you can fit Haaland in. So we've got... What are we going to play? We're gonna play? If we're going to play Haaland in, we're going to play 3-4-3, three, three, right? So do we need... Let's say a uh, an Akanji. Do we need an Akanji? Let's see what the lowest price, highest player is. Anderson. 121 points at four and a half. Let's do it. Let's put Anderson in. Okay, that leaves 5.5. .5. Okay, so one, two, three. That's our three, and then these two are on the bench. Um, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. So this one. Let's put Harlan in there. Okay, right. Let's put Harlan in there. Right. So this one here can be a cheap player. Okay, this is what we run about by messing around with the uh, the, the totals at the end. We put the players in. See John again as a four as a five point five. Suchek's a good one. Elanga's a... Uh, that'd be a good one. hudson Adoye. Oh, okay. So these are more players that will rarely play or play with the lower half of the Premier League teams. Maynou. I don't know if Maynou will get points. I think he would be more defensive for uh, Man United. Should you put John McGinn in? Put John McGinn in. We've got too many Villa players. No, we've got enough. Okay. Right, 8 million. We're 8 million over budget. Where can we save? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Take Rashford out. If we take Gabriel out, that's five million. If we take him out, we're going to keep uh, we're going to keep keep Martinez in all this time. Yeah, okay. Martinez is going to be in there all this time. So let's just put a terrible, not a terrible goalie, but just put someone in there. Uh, is there any uh, Olsen? Oh God, I wouldn't even put this in the fantasy league team. Right, he got eighteen. Fabianski, Turner, Boris. Let's put Turner in. That's a four million there, so we just saved a million. Um, okay, so one, two, but this needs to be our main. It needs to be our main defender. Oh, this is tough, guys. This is tough. This is tough. Here we go. We just have a blank sub bench. <laughs> um, okay. Get rid of Diaz. Seven and a half. We can't do it. We can't do it with uh We can't do it with Harland. We have to be cleverer. Is that a place where can we put Rashford back in? I think he's gonna have a better season than last season, if I'm honest with you, Rashford. And he's classed as a midfielder on here, so so we're looking at eight million for a Striker, eight million. And they've got Havert here. Havertz is going to be a, uh, a false nine, isn't he? He's going to be that number ten role. And I've got one hundred and eighty points. Absolute bargain at eight million. Came third in the strikers, but we can't. Oh, we can put him in. Trying to see if we can be clever elsewhere. Ivan Tony is 7.5. He missed half the season due to his ban. Who's going to bang goals in? Haaland's the only one striker wise. Yeah, Alvarez is gone. 
Spurs, I think Solanke's going to be the main man. Uh, West Ham. I think West Ham are going to have a good season. Falkrug played in the Euros. He's 7 million. Should we just gamble? Should we, should we, should we gamble on uh, Havertz? People are going to be scared of Arsenal. They're going to create chances. That's a lot there. That is a lot. Right, so we've hit it. 15 players selected. No budget left. We've got Martinez, Turner, Saliba, Anderson, Guardiola. Um, this guy, I can't pronounce his name. Gabriel. Palmer, Son, Luis Diaz, John McGinn, Rashford, Solanke, Isak and Havertz. I'm happy with that. Confirmed transfers. We did that with some time to spare. Okay, so now the next problem we've got is Man United are playing Fulham. Do we switch Rashford in for John McGinn? Yes, we do. Okay. Also, I want to put Solanke in because they're playing Leicester. Okay. Who is our captain? So Martinez, Saliba, Gabriel... They're playing Wolves. And then we've got Man City playing Chelsea. Uh, United are playing Fulham. Spurs are playing Leicester. Chelsea. Man City again. Liverpool, Ipswich. Leicester again. Southampton. This might be a good game. Might be a good game to captain him, to be fair. These are the fixtures, guys. So we've got the first game tonight. Man United, Fulham. Um... So we've got Rashford playing there, then Liverpool Ipswich, then we've got Luis Diaz playing there, guys. Um, Arsenal Wolves, so Saliba, Gabriel and um, Havertz are playing there against Wolves. Nothing in the Everton-Brighton game. Isaac playing against Southampton. Uh, nothing in the Forest-Bournemouth game. Uh, West Ham-Villa. Now we have two people on the bench. McGinn, Nadelikovic. That is part of his name. And Martinez. Okay. So we're going to have Martinez in there anyway. Brentford Palace. Um, we've got nothing there. Uh, have we? Oh, yeah. We've got Anderson. Anderson's on the bench. Um, he's going to be mainly on the bench there. Chelsea, we've got Palmer. Man City, we've got um, Guardiola. The only Man City player we've got. We've had to take the, the hit there. Leicester Spurs, so we've got Son and Solanke. Um, I'm happy with that team, guys. This has been T.S. Villa picking his Fantasy Premier League team for the 2024-25 season. If you've got a team, please come and join me. The uh, league pin is DBE65P. Come and join in. I'll pull it in the comments as well. Uh, it's a head-to-head -head league as well, so it's going to be different. So you're going to be f playing against different people. And the winner of that game week will get the most points uh, added to the uh, league totals. So I think it's like one for a draw and three for a win. So uh, we won't have a runaway player at the end of the season, guys. Uh, it's all to play for if you've got like uh, 600 points in uh, in April and someone else has only got 200 points, then it's still possible to win the league because there's a head-to-head, -head, guys. Um, so I'm hoping it doesn't discourage people and people carry on picking their teams as the game weeks go on. There we go, guys. Right, that was my thought process. I know we changed around a bit and everything. We couldn't get Haaland in, spoilers. But that is my Fantasy Premier League team that I'm going into game week one with. Um, let me know again. Guys, I mentioned it in the video, but it is... DBE65P is the league code. That is for a head-to-head -head league that we're doing uh, for the TS Villa community. If you're watching this video, I class you as one of the community. Come and join us, guys. Everyone is friendly. You can make new friends. Come and find me, and we're going to talk about this on Monday's streams on Twitch. We're going to talk about uh, how everyone got on, uh, what surprise players we had, who captained what. And every Friday, we're going to talk about what we're going to do uh, and what changes we are going to make as well for the coming game week as well. So get involved, guys. Come and join me. I've been T.S. Villa. Thank you so much for watching this. Take care.